is. Let's talk about it. Chris Brown versus Soulja Boy. I'm about uh, 20 years too old for this conversation. You know how I know I'm 20 years too old because I got on my good Moo And Moo to me are the best thing ever made in the world. So I know I may be a little too old for this conversation. But... I wanted to speak on it because it's just funny to me how uh, 50 Cent is like so involved in this. Like, is 50 Cent the new Don King? Because you are really exploiting these young men. Like, these young men are so big-headed that they don't realize that the OGs are making fun of them. And, like... Okay, do you remember that picture of um, of Soldier Boy and 50 Cent, where 50 Cent had his arm around um, Soldier Boy's neck, and uh, Vivica Fox called that picture a little suspect. Now, when I seen the picture, I was like, you know, maybe 50 Cent is just feeling himself and he don't realize how suspect the picture looks. I don't know. And Soulja Boy so young, he just willing to just do anything, you know. And then let's remember this. Soulja Boy is a Leo, okay. He is a very young, immature Leo. That kind of explains a lot of his recklessness. And a lot of his lies, because a lot of Leo men um, are womanizers and they lie a lot. Well, a lot of immature Leo men are um, liars and um, womanizers. And um, they're liars so much so that, um, you know, their arrogance is sometimes larger than life. And they're so arrogant that they actually believe their lies. In their mind, they believe that what they're saying is true. Or they think that they are so much that ninja that what they're saying is just... Because in their mind, you know, Leo's are, you know, nine times out of ten larger than what they believe. In their mind, they're larger than what in actuality they really are, so... Now, um, shout out to Carcino. Uh, I think Carcino, Carcino is a Sagittarius. He is my YouTube crush, okay? Um, not that I would fly out to Chicago because, you know, your girl ain't flying to Chicago for nothing. Nothing. For nobody. Yeah, because didn't they, them poor kids from Chicago, uh... It was supposed to be three girls and one boy. I was like, where's the uh, third girl? But I don't know. I didn't, you know, the pictures that lovely T showed. I was like, I don't know what this is right here. I don't, I don't know what those are. But um, yeah, I was just in a car casino, and he played a video about. Um, well, he played a video, I guess, to help fuel the fire to the fight, so that people would stay interested and. Find out, you know, more of the backstory in regards to the Soldier Boy and Chris Brown beef. But uh, according to what Soldier Boy said, now let's let's say this: um, I do believe that there is a root that is the truth, but as it grows up and out, it becomes a lie. That's what I view Soldier Boy as. Just you know, it starts off the truth, and then as it grows, it becomes a lie. And remember this, Leos are very charming. They're very entertaining. A lot of times, they're the life of the party. And um, it's because they have the uh, capability of telling a story and keeping a person's attention. And whether Soldier Boy is, is lying or telling the truth, I, I say most of the time he's lying, he does keep our attention. So, um, at any rate, basically, the way that Soulja Boy broke it down was, um, was, okay, after Chris Brown beat up Rihanna, Rihanna started checking for me. 
And at the time, you know, I'm a young dude. I'm hot. You know, I all I was dating Tiana Taylor at the time, so I wasn't really stunting it. Of course, Leos don't stunt nobody. Nobody. Like I told you, Leos don't pay for pussy. They pay for pussy to go away. And that's just the truth about that. So, um, at any rate, um, the, the, um, Rihanna started, um, you know, I guess checking for Soulja Boy, according to him. And, um, he kind of insinuated that, uh, they may have, might have, you know, got together and did the Humpty Dance, you know, they may have, but... When Chris Brown contacted him, and I believe that because Chris Brown can be a little possessive about his women. He's shown that with Karuchi, and um, you know what's crazy? He didn't really show that a lot with Rihanna as far as being possessive. I don't know if, you know, other men didn't try him in regards to Rihanna. I don't know, but I didn't know that he would he could be that guy. He was that guy with Rihanna until what um um Soldier Boy just said about um what time is it? Okay. Um what Soldier Boy just said about uh Chris Brown contacting him and because he did it with Karuchi, I believe he do it. I believe he's a sensitive dude who is possessive over his women. Hmm. It happens. You know, you just can't have me. You ain't about to be putting your hands on my face. That can't happen. You know, I don't care how old I am. You know, somebody was like, I got old lady lips in the mouth. Old lady lips in an old lady mouth. Girl, boo. I don't pay no attention to nobody, especially not a, a blank, you know, avatar. I don't I don't pay no different of chair, please. You know how many messages I get from people, men and female, asking me about my lips? Chair sure, boo. You don't move me, honey. I'm not moved, but um at any rate, so so you know, he it, the uh, promoter of the fight um, he, he's, he's the devil. I'm telling you him and, um, uh, 50 Cent have made this fight and all the OGs, let me say that, related to the fight have made this fight strictly about money and exploiting these young dudes. And these young dudes, so young and immature that they don't even know what these old heads is doing to them. I'm telling you the same way that Don King exploited Mike Tyson, who I think is, who is, um, I think Mike Tyson is training, yeah, Mike Tyson is training, um, Chris Brown, and, um, Floyd Mayweather is training, uh, Soulja Boy, did y'all see them pictures, did y'all see them videos of Soulja Boy, um, training, now, don't get me wrong, I love me a tall, you know, a tall, like, six-foot-one. Like, I like my men tall, but not too tall, but a six-foot-one thin man. You know, I just, I don't know why, I don't know, excuse me, God, I don't know, you know, what that's about. I don't know, but I love it. You know, I can't get enough of uh, something so I don't know. They just I don't know. They just wear their clothes better to me. Hmm. I could be. I don't know, but you know. But soldier, um, who was that I was looking at? Oh, and then let's talk about uh, also Twenty One Savage and um, Twenty Two Savage. Or is it Savage Twenty One or Twenty One? And I love the um, um, boy Twenty One Savage. Oh, he got this song. I, I cannot think of the name of the song, but when I tell you that mother sucker is a banger, it's a banger, and it's rare that I found you know some new rapper that um, No Heart. That's the name of it. That's the name of the um, song by Twenty One Savage. Oh my gosh, I love the thing. And so now they're on the card, and I'm just saying to myself. Why are y'all allowing these OGs to get y'all like that? Let me tell you what it reminds me of. Okay, down here 
uh, in the summertime, you may randomly see a very young person, like between eight and you know seventeen, with a box of cookies or candy or something like that, or at the Safeway or on the street or something selling candy from some OG that then dropped them off. You know, and they them kids be out there all friggin' day selling candy from BJ's. You hear me? Some OG then went to BJ's or, or which are Costco or you know some warehouse and bought a shizloads of candy and then gave these young people to spew about, hey, could you please um, buy some candy from me to help me get uniforms or um, whatever, whatever. But you can tell that they under underprivileged because you know, like my good Judy that live out in Montgomery County with her three boys that play for um, Oni, okay, or oh, her two boys that play for Oni. Oh, no, you can tell my good Judy that they going to drop them kids off at 11 o'clock in the morning, and then he, or not 11 o'clock, at 9 o'clock in the morning, and then he come get them right before dusk, or oh, what is it, dawn, you know, right before it get dark. Oh, my girlfriend will be there. Found some time of custody protection suit or something, what I tell you? Don't mess with the children, okay, because them children advocates go with them. But you can tell the kids are underprivileged, parents are uneducated. You can just tell that because why would the parents allow the young kids to be out there all day? I mean, they're out there all day in the friggin' heat, all day, selling cookies and candy from G BJ's for OG. Ridiculous. Anyway, guys, what y'all feel about the uh, Soldier Boy beef? I think it's hilarious. Soldier Boy, Chris Brown beef is hilarious. I mean, then Soldier Boy was talking about uh, me and Chris. Chris felt this way for back then, but back then he didn't have as many tattoos and he wasn't doing so much coke. I was like, ooh. Anyway, shout out to Carcino. Uh Peepers, peepers. T.S. Madison voice. Peepers. The same people you meet on the way up are the same people you meet on the way down. Naysayers. Let's be good to each other.